the Wii baby? Did we fail? Did we succeed? What's going on? Prices, release dates, advanced mechatronics, advanced 3D modeling, advanced 3D printing. This is your channel. Please subscribe, follow this vlog. Did we get a print out of the Wii baby? And first, let's go over what's new. So, I covered most of the details in the last vlog and we also have this bracket for uh, the cable loom uh, and also end stops which was missing the last vlog we are opting for sensorless homing but we need to be able to use end stops so i had some optical end stops going on here now on the x on the y also on the c i understand that bl touch or similar probing for a 3d printer in 2019 is a common common thing to have i will see if i can make space for it uh it will be uh, later because now i'm gonna focus on the important stuff and that is to get a boom bill of materials ready for this machine it's gonna take me a couple of weeks to price everything to get links to get to source everything you know these things takes a lot of time i also need to place every every screw and washer and nut in the assembly i know you are um, eager to get started if you did you know buy me a coffee or patron me then you will also get early access for the release parts of course we had success the, uh, the v baby printed awesome right off the bat so this is the first very virgin print from the Wii Baby. Almost flawless. I did not calibrate a flow or even my E-steps. Awesome! We currently started the second print. So down to the right here you can see the Wii Baby printing the Benchy, the famous Benchy. And um, I don't know if you can hear sound at all. Because the, pr the printer is just next to me. And we have the fans blowing. All the fans, three fans blowing. So let me know if what do you think about the, the the noise from this printer? I don't know what you can hear out there. So basically it's been a huge huge success and we are going to look at videos from the first print. So uh, stay tuned for that. So I went back into the COD and had a look at when I started this project. We have 12 weeks and some days been working on this project and we now have a working printer i'm very excited about that 13 weeks from scratch to a working machine of course we need to tune stuff we need to make it pretty we need to make some panels we, we need to make it desktop friendly we need to get the cable management together in the next weeks we will work on these things and i will show you how you can calibrate everything about cable management i will go through we will flash the firmware where we will have a bill of materials we will have a build log i'm gonna order parts myself and build this thing together with you so follow this channel for a uh, awesome project it's not stopping now tuning hot end, tuning flow tuning e-steps all that stuff we are gonna go through it so follow the channel so let's go and have a look at the first print happy melting plastic guys so here we go homing so i'm printing this with a brim because i had no idea how things sticks to this uh print surface these are the new TMC2208 drivers, version 3 from Big 3 Tech. Also, have the layer fans starting. Two blowers, two 3010 blowers. We are currently printing at 60 millimeter seconds, nothing special. We are running high acceleration at 3000. So, this is the SKR uh, 1.3 board. We have been talking about expanding the build uh, footprint, so it's gonna be 340 by 340 we can utilize the whole bed which yeah would be reasonable so i bought a genuine canovo heater 400 watts this is about 40 bucks do have a link to that as well if this actually works as a <laughs> print surface then it's like the cheapest ever we have a new printer guys I'm, I'm i'm quite happy now it's been almost three months in my spare time Let's start this bad boy. First layer going down. 
sneak peek at the Benchy from water level. So we are starting on the last part of the Benchy. Final layers guys on the Benchy, the second print on this printer. So I'll take some pictures and post that. So you can also catch me on Instagram. So I'm trying to review the Benchy. It's not easy to get a very good zoom onto this, this guy, this filament. But the overhang looks good. Um, layers look good. I'm trying to get the worst possible uh, light onto this, uh, onto the onto the layers. Text on the back did print. We have a 0.5 nozzle, so uh, not the best nozzle for those details. And uh, this little guy on the. Rear did print nice. The chimney printed very nice. Print, the chimney is perfect, I must say. I'm just trying to get the worst possible lighting. Uh, it's just to... Yeah. What do you think? Is this a good venture? I don't know. I don't usually print these spots. <laughs> Let me know what you think, guys. It's a good bench here. It's a 0.1 layers at 60 millimeter a second. 0.5 nozzle and bridging looks decent, I think. What? Where do you place this? Like, is it like top 10? <laughs> is it top 10 bench here, or what do you think? Let me know. I am not a bench expert, so help me out, guys. Thanks.